Okay guys, so I decided that I couldn't take looking at this plain Jane bookshelf anymore. I mean, look at it. It is like the worst bookshelf or bookcase, whatever you refer to it as. I don't know, but it's like blending in with the walls and I couldn't take it anymore. So I had the sudden desire to DIY it. It's my actual first DIY project um, and I was so excited to do it. I love doing home improvement projects. It's so relaxing to me. I've been doing it ever since I was a teenager. So it's in my blood. Anyway, um, I just kind of wanted to give you a before picture so that you can see how awful this bookshelf look. I mean, how it looks. It's like a typical bookshelf you would find in like Walmart for maybe 20 bucks or so. So stay tuned. Let me know what you think as I take you through the process of me DIYing. Alright guys, I actually was going to skip this part of me painting this. This is my art project. But, this is funny, as I was opening my cans of paint, I discovered this. And I thought it was freaking hilarious. Like, this is like a pancake, a paint pancake. But, I'll probably just try to use like the chunks that have peeled off. But I've had this paint for probably like seven years, so I'm not surprised that it looks like that. It's just been in the bottom of my cabinet in the kitchen. So, yeah. I probably should have thought about this before I decided to become Picasso, but I can still use it. So um, I decided to create my own art piece instead of purchasing one because they're usually like 50 to to $100 for this size frame that I needed. 
So you guys know I'm really frugal. I decided to do it myself. So look at that. Found this frame for $9.99 at Goodwill today. And I spray painted it gold because it was black. And then I also used some of the leftover spray paint I had. As you can see, like the red over there. And some of the, I think that's brown. I just went ahead and like used spray paint to just give it some, some depth. And begin my abstract piece of art. This million dollar painting. I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. But I figured it can't be too hard. Because, you know, abstract. It's whatever you want it to be. So, this paint is actually already gooky and thick. So I figure, hey, it's already like my homemade acrylic paint. This is how paint turns out. It turns into acrylic. <laughs> acrylic based consistency when you have it for forever. This consistency is still pretty pretty smooth and milky. So I can just use that. This is chunky. I don't even remember why I had this color. I have absolutely no idea. And this is the color I'm painting the bar. So I figure I can just blend that in as well. Um, yeah. And there you have it. So hopefully this won't look like a kindergarten project. <laughs> Fingers crossed. And I will show you guys the big reveal. Ta-da! Yeah. So this is it. Let me know if you guys will like it. As you can see, I added the gold stripes because it was just looking a little bland for me. And Rocky is trying to steal some shine in my video barking. But the gold stripes are duct tape, believe it or not. I think it adds some oomph. And there's the picture with my frame from the Goodwill. And Tisha added the blue accents. So we can tie it in with the bar table. And that's it. All of the red decorations I already had. And then as you can see, the twigs on the top, I got those from the dollar store. And there's some lace on the top of it. I will walk to show you. I also got that from the dollar store. So this. Dollar Tree is my friend. This is also duct tape. And I got this little piping from the dollar store. This is from Ikea. Yeah, I got it's sand in there. I got that from the dollar store. And these. This. And I had it already. And I spray painted it. And there you have it. So let me guys. Let me guys. I can't even talk. <laughs> let me know what you think. In the comments below. And I will talk to you guys later.